AITA for not forgiving my dad for what he said? My dad, 45M, is really into cars. His dad, my grandpa, is also into cars. My grandpa used to work in a mechanic shop and my dad learned to work on cars with him. They can talk for hours about different car models and engines and tell stories about cars they've worked on. I, 17M, am not really into them. My dad tried to get me into fixing up cars with him but it just doesn't click with me. I know basic stuff like how to change a tire or oil and how to jumpstart a battery because he taught me and I'm glad for it. But talking about cars and working on them for fun I'm just not into. I always thought my dad was okay with me not being a car guy. Five months ago we got these new neighbors that moved next door. It's a married couple and their nephew Mason, 16M, lives with them. Mason and I go to school together. At first I helped show him around school until he got comfortable and made his own friends. He and I talk still but we don't hang out. Mason is like my dad and grandpa. He's obsessed with talking about cars and has a whole list of cars he wants to drive and own one day. He would come over with his aunt and uncle and a lot of times Mason and his uncle would hang out with my dad in the garage. Sometimes I'd be there too but usually it's just them. My dad usually works on his project car in the garage every other weekend for a couple hours. For Father's Day this year he said he wanted to be able to work on his car all day uninterrupted, which my mom agreed too. Whenever he works on his car he leaves the garage door open. Mason has been coming by when my dad works on it for the past couple months and he talks to my dad and sometimes helps him out with smaller stuff related to the car. I don't really care. My dad does other stuff with me. But on Sunday I went to go ask him something when he was in the garage with Mason. The door from the house to the garage was open and him and Mason were talking. I was waiting by the door for a chance to speak because I didn't want to interrupt their conversation. My dad was praising Mason for whatever he did. Mason said he had done that with his dad and my dad told Mason his dad would be proud of him. Then he said Mason is the kind of son that he wanted to have. It why, but that really fucking hurt to hear. I never thought that me not being into cars was an issue for my dad. I knew he still loved me but I guess it's not enough. I didn't say anything and just went back to my room. He doesn't know that I know what he said. I've been ignoring him since then. I still answer him when he asks me questions or tells me to do something but I just don't want to talk to him just because anymore. Him and my mom, 43F, have asked me if something is wrong but I lie and say no. I thought they would just let it go but a few days ago I messed up and told my older sister, 19F, what happened because she kept asking and now she's not talking to my dad either and she's being a lot meaner to him about it. But I made her promise not to tell anyone the reason so she's keeping her word. It's really tense in our house right now. My parents keep asking us why we're mad at our dad but neither of us are answering and it I feel like maybe I should just let it go and go back to the way things were. I really don't want to though when my dad is disappointed in who I am. Ata if I don't forgive my dad? Relevant comments. Beck 2010. Dad, I get that you're disappointed that I'm not into cars like you and grandpa. It's just not my thing but I do appreciate how you taught me the basics. But when I went to the garage to see you on Father's Day, I heard you tell Mason that he was the kind of son you wanted slash wished you had. Do you have any idea how hurtful that is? On Father's Day I got to hear my dad tell someone else that they were the type of kid he wanted. So, yeah, I'm hurt. You said it so casually. And on Father's Day, NTA. Kama the stupid wolf. I think that if he mentions that it was Father's Day his dad will focus on that and the fact that it was Mason they're messing with a car and not his OP, so it could get all like, well if you had even tried maybe I wouldn't say it, and shit, the dad sounds like a, ah, uh. so maybe he should not give his dad that power. Salty sees a Ned trash. The day the dad asked to be left alone to work on his car? Yeah. Why wouldn't his son be there? Diligaf underscore 84. It also struck me that the dad specifically asked to be left alone to work on his car uninterrupted on Father's Day, but happily lets Mason interrupt him on Father's Day and then drops the little gem about wanting a son like Mason. What an awful situation. Many Redditors advised OOP to talk to either his mom, dad or both about the issue. Writing underscore mm underscore romance. 30 years ago, in the heat of the moment, my dad yelled at me and called a lazy fat ass. It actually still comes up in my therapy sessions sometimes. The situation was simply that I didn't want to leave the living room when my mom's friends were coming over. I locked myself in my room for two days and refused to speak to him. When I opened the door he was devastated, he knew I was hurt and that his words were the cause. He did what he could to make it right, but I still hear those words in my head sometimes. Telling him isn't going to make those words go away, but saying it and giving him a chance to hear how it made you feel is the only way you'll start the process of healing from it. As others have mentioned it may have been said to make the neighbor feel better, but that doesn't excuse the hurt it caused. Holding it in will only make your feelings and emotions grow. 
Bargel Nadel Zeus. As in many relationships, lack of communication is the fatal error. It can't get better, your dad can't learn, until you tell him how hurt you are. Have a family sit down, and have it out with him. Calmly tell him what you heard, and how it made you feel. Ask your sister to not interject, as this is between you and your dad. If you handle this like an adult, this should be a wake-up call for your dad. If he refuses to acknowledge how hurt you are, then he would be past the point of forgiveness. Hopefully he will realize how strongly you feel about this. Avoiding this discussion resolves nothing. It just pushes this issue down the road while your negative feelings continue to grow, until at some time not of your choosing you randomly explode like a volcano. Better to handle it sooner, in a controlled fashion. NTA, but please tackle this issue directly, ASAP. Vander 611. NTA for anything that you are feeling or not being able to forgive him. However, you should probably give him the chance to apologize and make amends for hurting you. From what you described, you know he never wanted to hurt you this way. He cares, or he wouldn't be concerned about why you are upset. So, give him the chance to make it up to you. He might mess it up. You know him better than I do, but you will feel better about not being able to forgive him if he messes up again or doesn't feel the need to apologize slash make amends. If you don't feel comfortable taking it to him directly, start with your mom or request a session with a family therapist. Boop. I'm more upset at him saying it in the first place. Even if he felt that way why couldn't he just keep that thought to himself? If I tell my mom she's gonna confront him. I know it. Moxie Megan. Your dad is in the wrong, but you need to talk to him. You could always send him a link to this post and then he will understand the full picture of what happened and how you feel about it. You could start with your mom to see how she would react as well in case you don't want to start with your dad. Right now you are in a holding pattern, you can't go back, but you can't go forward. If you want to heal you need to take the steps to heal, and that involves talking to your parents. If they love you they will be hurt by what he did and will make the steps with you to figure how they can make you feel better. He never should have said that, and tbh if he is a good dad he will be horrified you heard that and he hurt you. I am hopping for your reconciliation but just know that it's probably going to take time. There is no magic wand that will make this pain go away. I hope your dad is willing to put in the time and effort you will need to heal. Ada doesn't have a consensus bot, but almost universally OOP was NTA, but most said his dad was the Ah. Uh. Update June 24th, 2024. So I guess my post was put up on TikTok and my inbox was flooded with a bunch of new comments and DMs. There's too many to read but thank you everyone for telling me that I'm not wrong for not wanting to forgive my dad cause it still hurts knowing he said that regardless of why he said it. I got a lot of questions but I'll answer two important ones. My dad did ask to be left alone to work on his car but it's not because he didn't want to spend father's day with us. We had a special breakfast for him and we gave him his gifts in the morning. The incident happened in the late afternoon. My mom usually wants to be left alone to work on her art projects or read one of her books on Mother's Day too. It's not that they don't want to spend the day with us. They just like to be able to focus on their hobbies without having to worry about household or family duties for a few hours. It's normal in my family for my mom and dad to give each other breaks or a day off sometimes. Another thing is my dad didn't invite Mason to work on the car with him. He did tell Mason a while back that if the garage door is open then Mason is free to walk in and chat. That's what Mason usually does. My dad doesn't talk to him outside of when Mason comes over by himself or with his aunt and uncle. I don't think my dad even has Mason's number. They're not really close. They just both like cars. I know most people told me to tell my mom or my dad or both about what I heard. I was kind of hoping the tension would go away and just be forgotten which I know is dumb and not realistic, but I really didn't want to have to have that awkward conversation so I just kept quiet. Things got really bad today. My sister and I were still mostly ignoring our dad. My mom would keep asking us a bunch of questions and guessing reasons why we were mad. I thought she gave up but earlier today she said we were gonna have a family game night tonight which we never really do. I really didn't feel like doing that but I was gonna sit there and just deal with it. But my sister told my mom we won't be joining if dad is there. My mom asked why but my sister just said he knows what he did. So my mom went to talk to our dad and like an hour later she made us all sit down in the living room to talk. My dad was mad now. He told us that we need to say whatever is on our minds because now our mom is asking if we caught him cheating on her or something. She was running out of theories for why we were mad. TBF she guessed it right on the second day asking if he had said something to make me mad or upset but I lied and said no at the time. She said she knows it has something to do with me because I was mad at him first. So I finally told her what I overheard my dad say. 
My mom was shocked and my dad immediately denied it which really sucked, cause if he thought it and said it out loud he could at least also have the balls to admit it but he didn't. He kept saying he didn't say that but I told him I know what I heard. He tried to lie and say that what he said was that Mason's dad would be proud of him, that's true, and that if Mason was his son he'd be proud of the kind of person he was. That's a lie. He didn't say that. My sister got mad and told him to stop gaslighting me. Then they argued for a couple minutes until my mom stopped them. My mom asked me if I was sure of what I heard and I said yes. I told her exactly what he said to Mason your dad would be proud of you. I know I would be. You're exactly the kind of son I wanted to have. I know that because I keep hearing my dad's voice saying it over and over in my head. I've been hearing it whenever I look at him since that day. And my mom turned to my dad and started yelling at him for saying that. So my dad finally admitted it but said that I misunderstood him. He says he was just trying to make Mason feel better cause Mason was sad and kept talking about his dad that died because it was Father's Day. My dad wasn't trying to put me down or say I was a disappointment to him. He said he was sorry and tried to hug me but I was honestly mad that he denied it at first so I didn't let him. My mom didn't accept his reasoning either. She said that Mason, his aunt and uncle aren't invited anymore and that we're just gonna be neighbors from now on and that's it. I feel bad cause they didn't do anything wrong. But my mom kept going and telling my dad that he needs to stop spending so much time on his stupid car and start paying more attention to his family. He really doesn't spend a lot of time on it. Maybe like two days out of the month for three to four hours. I think she was just really mad at him which is what I was worried about. So my dad shouted that he'll just get rid of the car then since everyone suddenly has a problem with his hobby. He left to my uncle's house, his brother, after that and I don't think he's coming back tonight. I feel really bad. I should have just let it go. I really want to but I can't. If he hadn't tried to lie and just said sorry maybe I would have accepted his apology and this would be done. I'm not even really mad anymore. I just feel like a failure. I wish I could have just been more into cars. Then this whole thing would have never happened. Sorry it's not a happy update but a lot of people were asking for one. I hope he comes back home soon. Relevant comments. Pridey of Cape Town. OP, if you're reading this, I'm sorry your dad is a complete piece of shit. And tell your mom this really isn't about the car or the amount of time your dad spends on the car, it's about what your dad really thinks of you. His reaction was to deny, lie and manipulate, minimize, I'm guessing that a apology was the complete opposite of truly sorry or remorseful, then pout and run away instead of dealing with what he did to you, not just on Father's Day but during slash after this family meeting. I'm sorry you have to go through this. Your asshole dad doesn't deserve forgiveness. He says he was just trying to make Mason feel better cause Mason was sad and kept talking about his dad that died because it was Father's Day. My dad wasn't trying to put me down or say I was a disappointment to him. Bullshit. You know what your dad would have said if was trying to make Mason feel better? I'm proud of you, Mason. And your dad is probably watching you right now and saying the exact same thing, only you can't hear him. You know what your dad would have said if you were a disappointment to him? You're exactly the kind of son I wanted to have. You want proof that you're not a failure? Your sister was pissed off at what he said about you. Your mom was pissed off at what he said about you. Everyone on Reddit is pissed off at what he said about you. That's three strikes. Three strikes has worked in baseball for well over a hundred years. You are not a failure. Your father is a failure. Marilyn Baum. Hey, I know this might not feel true yet, but you did some brave, important things in that conversation. You told the truth, and you stood up for yourself. Your dad lied and deflected and stormed off for reasons that have nothing to do with you and everything to do with his emotional maturity. That's a tough thing to learn, because as kids it feels safer to believe we're the problem, because then we can fix it. But this isn't on you. Try to be kind to yourself, and maybe spend some time your mom or sister or friends who make you feel good. Boop. Thank you for saying this. I really needed to hear some of that. The Kelsey 21. As an adult who had two very emotionally immature parents, I understand your pain. It's hard to not blame ourselves when we confront our parents about things they have said or did to hurt us. They often lie, gaslight, or fake apologize their way out of it and you're still left feeling the shame for even bringing it up. I just want you to know I'm proud of you. It's not easy to do what you did. I wasn't able to do this at 16. I'm 30 and can barely do it sometimes, but I'm getting better. Keep enjoying the hobbies you love. And never stop standing up for yourself, no matter who they are. Outrageous Scene 290. You are not wrong for your feelings. And you are not to blame for your sister, your mother, or your father's reactions to how you feel. They make those choices. And as a mom, I would bet money that your mom is both pissed about what he said, but even more pissed that he tried to lie and cover it up. 
but I also believe this, your dad tried to lie and say it didn't happen because he was ashamed of what he said and ashamed of the hurt he caused to you because he does love you. Shame and men are just two things that rarely go well together. Many men are taught to hide their feelings, good for you to be starting to break that bullsh asterisk t cycle, and so when they feel any emotion, they react with anger. But that anger reaction is not your fault. Your dad needs to feel his shame right now and I don't believe he would be feeling that if he didn't love you very much. Flat Succotash 5369 So, when presented with the reason you're upset, your father denies it flat out, calling you a liar, then gaslights you, saying you misunderstood him, then attempts to justify his words, then throws a diversionary hissy fit, claiming you all hate his beloved hobby when, no, you hate his insulting statement, then Storms out in cowardly rage to run from his actions and not having to hear any more from all of you meanies. OP, you're so NTA. Your father needs to learn that when one makes a mistake, one needs to admit it, own up to it, apologize and make every effort to ensure it's never repeated. Editor's note, since OOP's dad has left and not returned, this issue doesn't feel resolved, so I am marking it ongoing. Hopefully, OOP updates us with a more positive update in the future.